Hey guys, today I'm going to start a new series called the Exposed Tuesdays. And what it means is really I'm going to be talking about the Exposed Framework, mostly on Exposed modules that are available for the Exposed Framework every Tuesday. I'll bring in, depending on the size of the module itself, if it's uh, the module itself, if it's a big module, then it'll be basically an episode. If it's a small module, I'll cover a few of those. But the main thing I want to cover for you guys is today is the first episode of this new series. So let's go ahead and check it out. First thing you need to start with is understanding what the exposed framework. We have many, many ways of understanding all of this. We have a video that was posted by Jace not that long ago that talks about the exposed framework and an interview with Borough 89. We also have this article by Conan Truman that was posted on the XCA portal. And it again explains the process, how the developer came about as far as getting this process together. And it gives us a little bit of information as far as what is exposed framework, how to install it, um, how do you get this thing running on your system and how do you download modules. Now, the main one, that I'd like to cover today is the 1M module. And this module installs normally like an APK. Uh, this is just the article that was covered by Will not that long ago talking about this specifically. Uh, as a caveat, this is uh, primarily geared towards TouchWiz ROM. So if you're not running TouchWiz on your device uh, with a the supported device, you're probably not gonna get a lot of the benefits out of this, but there are other um, mods or modules that you're able to use. And if we go to the thread real quick, we'll get a chance to see again, the list is extremely long as far as the custom options that you're able to do on a stock uh, TouchWiz device without having to flash a custom ROM. So let's go ahead and check it out on the device. First thing we'll do, we'll make sure that the operating system on this device is stock TouchWiz. You can see from here, it's running Android 4.3. The version is N900T, this is the T-Mobile Note 3, and the information here shows that the only thing that I've done on this device actually is just rooted it and installed the custom recovery. And you don't need custom recovery to be able to use the exposed framework, but you need to be aware that if you do have problems with the exposed framework on your device, currently the way to remove it is using a flashable zip use, uh, from your recovery, and that's usually put out directly on your SD card on your main system memory. So if you don't have a custom recovery and, you ha and you're and you thinking of going down this route, uh, just be cautious. That doesn't necessarily mean that you will have problems, it's just that if you do and you just want to get out. Um, other than that, we'll go in. You need to make sure you have the Exposed for Installer running on your device, and I've already installed it. So we'll go into the framework. It tells us exactly the current version and what's already available. You have the option of uploading from here as well. And then we're gonna go into modules. And this is where we have the different modules that we are gonna be covering over the weeks. But the current module that I'm mostly interested in is the 1M Exposed module. It and the interface is very simple. When you load it, it loads like an application. When you download it, it even downloads like an application. You have two options of downloading this. You can download it either straight through the Google Play Store or the XCA thread, that's the option two. The third option would be is through the actual app itself. And we'll cover the actual um, installer at some point, but overall, the installation is very simple. Once you have it installed, it requires you to reboot, activating the module, all of that good stuff. Um, this isn't that, that's not part of what we're doing today. What we need to do today or what we're gonna cover today is the 1M exposed module. And the main benefit of here is, you know, they're sectioned off exactly by what you can do. And all of these could be done to a stock TouchWiz device. I don't have to flash an entire operating system just to modify my lock screen. I don't have to install an entire theme just to be able to get that special feature only the theme has. So as long as these features are installed or within this application and you have the current version of the module and updated um, exposed framework installed, you are just most of the time set. Uh, you have the ability of going into the notification panel, sending the transparency, setting the different options as far as showing the battery or even having the time in the middle of your status bar, uh, two line dates, signal uh, signal bar increasing. Most, offer, most of our phones come with five. You can show it up to six. Again, these are just mods that you're able to do. Hiding the NFC icon. Um, one, of the one of the things on the Note 3, once it became a feature, I guess, I don't know if Samsung thought of it, but when you turn on NFC, it actually gives you a prominent NFC logo on the top part of your notification bar. Now, I'm not saying this is a small screen and the real estate is not super big, but you have, you know, very little area. Once you add the NFC icon and you have a couple more here, you just filled up your, you know, your view. So you have the ability of hiding that. Um, there's a lot more down there. The lock screen option, which are very nice. You're able to add, you know, custom carry labels. You can change it. You know, mine currently says T-Mobile. You can say your name. You can say hello world. Uh, lock screen shortcuts, I've already turned them on. Uh, the ability to turn on flashlight using the lock screen, and I turned that one on, it was very, very nice. Um, and I'll just shut off the screen right now, show you guys. I'm able to turn on the, uh, the flashlight on the device 
just from the lock screen. So that's that's a nice feature for whenever you need to have a flashlight and you don't actually have access to one. Um, I've done this one from before. The other option, which are very nice, to enable the call recording. Please be aware that call recording is illegal in many areas, and if it is not in your area, please do not turn it on. If it is, then you're more than welcome to use this feature. You have the option of actually uh, looking in here and then disabling that increasing ring call, uh, call ring option. The other thing here, obviously, under messaging, you have the ability of removing or increasing the limit on the text messaging. Themes, those are the other things. Battery, text, color, you can change different options in here. You can use different animation, checkbox colors, uh, panel backgrounds, all of the all the good things that you'd expect out of a custom ROM setting comes to you to your stock operating system, which is the beauty of it. Um, security hacks; those are some of the other options you need to keep uh, keep aware of. It. Uh, I like this the ability to make my uh, make video calls on my Hangouts on my cellular. This just disables it. In the past, I've used to have to download and modified APK of Hangout to be able to do this feature. So now it's just built into the operating system. And um, you know, secure Samsung bypass the security exchange. Those are different things. Uh, actually, one back. If you are having problems on your Knox enabled device, now currently only Note 3 officially has it, and you've had to keep getting the notification message saying that Knox needs to validate or run on your system, you have the ability of disabling it from here. So that gives you the ability of kind of controlling it. And then you have the advanced option. There is no you know, other option as far as, you know, recommended settings are just things that you, you know, the developer thinks you need to run. You don't necessarily have to do that. Uh, save and backup always, if you end up having to uninstall and reinstall this, you just set it up, restore, and then run it. Uh, we're going to run one module, and then we'll go ahead and do that. And I think it's under the sound. And by default, just to show you guys what it looks like, when I automatically raise my volume, I only get this option. I like to always look at it in an expanded view. I like to be able to see all my notification controls. This little option right here, expand auto, uh, auto expand volume panel, will do that for us. So we're going to turn it on. Exp the WENAM module tells us I need to re reboot my device. And uh, we'll just shut down. Device booted up. Now, every time I turn on my device and I want to make sure I'm able to control my volume, I click it, I get all my notification volumes right at the same time. I don't have to expand them. I bring it down, control it, bring it back up, everything works fine. I can go home, well, I'll wait for it to go. I'll go home and everything works fine. So main thing you want to keep in mind is you can custom change a lot of things on your device. Now, currently from what I understand is not all the features work on every single TouchWiz device. So you need to be aware of what you're doing. Um, try to do them one at a time or maybe two at a time so at least you're understanding of what's going on. So if you do have any problems, maybe a reboot, you're able to go back into the uh, exposed framework and change that setting back. That should fix your problem. Hope you guys saw the, the benefits of this application itself. It runs actually like an APK. It downloads and installs like an APK. But once it installs, it has some extra metadata in there that tells the system that this is an exposed framework uh, type of an application. And then therefore the installer will tag it and run it using the exposed framework so that it gets all these additional privileges. Um, it updates through the Google Play Store for me. I downloaded it originally through the actual installer. So if you go through the installer and hit the modules, it'll give you all the list of the ones at least that they are aware of um, that enabled you to use their system. So you can actually download other modules depending on your device. There are there are different modules that are custom device specific. Example, this one, which is WinAM. WinAM is actually specific to the TouchWiz devices. It runs over TouchWiz or stock TouchWiz operating system. So it gives you that stock look and feel, but it also gives you those little tweaks that you normally look for from a custom ROM. Uh, if you're happy with TouchWiz, I personally, I like TouchWiz. I'm okay with it. I don't like necessarily the launcher or the interface itself, as you guys might have noticed in the video. I removed it. I'm now running on Nova Prime. Um, I personally find it runs much better uh, as far as customization. That for me, I like gestures, so I'm able to just swipe down and open up my notification panel and uh, just other features that Nova Prime provides me that TouchWiz doesn't. Um, just check it out this application. Let me know what you think. Uh, the goal is essentially every Tuesday we'll cover uh, specific modules. Depending on the size of the modules, if they're basic enough, uh, we'll maybe cover one or two of them. Uh, if they're complicated or a long list, such as the WinAM one, it has a laundry list of things that you can change. Uh, definitely, we'll probably make more of an episode on that. So, uh, hope you guys like this. Let me know what you think, and I will see you guys in a couple of days. Oh, wait. Like and subscribe to me, to this channel. You know what to do.